Shalom kids, welcome to Kids Army for Jesus online service. As we all know, we are not able to attend our service at church today. But don't worry, God always makes a way where there seems to be no way. So, we can still be together through this online service. Let us prepare our hearts to come before His presence with singing. Kids, David is my best friend. But I think today he is very afraid to meet with me because of the virus situation. Do you know, prevention is good. Being careful is necessary, but we should not be fearful. Today, we are going to learn something very important about fear not and trust the Lord. Kids, today, I invited two of our children, Kiana and Michelle. They are best friends. Now, let me ask Michelle. Michelle, do you trust Kiana? Really? Okay, today I bring plastic filled with water and a color pencil. So, I'm going to do something. You have to trust Kiana. Alright? Okay, Kiana, I'm going to give you the pencil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the water on top of Michelle's head. Michelle, I'll ask Kiana to poke this plastic with the color pencil. Do you still trust Kiana? Do you think Kiana will put you in danger? No? Okay. Hmm. Let me ask Michelle then to close her eyes. Close your eyes? You trust her? Okay, let's start. Let's see what's gonna happen. 
in the count of three. One, two, and three. <gasps> oh, Michelle. Be careful, Michelle. <laughs> okay, so, Michelle, can you open your eyes now? Wow. Let me ask you, did you feel afraid just now when I put this on top? But do you also trust Kiana at the same time? See kids, sometimes in our life we can be afraid. But we know we have God as our best friend. And therefore, we should trust God more than being afraid of what we are facing in our life. Thank you Kiana and Michelle, you did a great job. Say bye-bye. Today's Bible lesson is about defeating our fear by trusting the Lord. I'm going to share with you a story about Joshua when God chose him to be the next leader. At that time, Joshua was very, very sad and very discouraged and very afraid. And I can tell you why. It's because to Joshua, Moses was like his father and his teacher. And when he looked around at the kingdoms in the promised land, they were all giants and they were all very, very strong. So at the time that Joshua was very discouraged, God met with him. Thank God, he is always a good God to all of us. Amen. So God met with him and he said to Joshua, Joshua, fear not, be courageous, for I am with you. At that time, when Joshua heard that voice from God, he became strong. He became brave and he led the whole Israelites to enter the, the promised land and he had victorious life. And you know what? The Israelites managed to win over all the battles that they did at that time. Today, you can trust the Lord just like Joshua did. And I can tell you why. Number one is because God is bigger than our fear. In fact, God is bigger than anything in our life. Number two, because God said to us that He will always be with us. Wow, such an amazing God we have. And number three, not only that He will be with us, but He promised us that He will give us victorious life. So today, if you feel afraid of anything in your life, remember, defeating our fear by trusting the Lord. Amen. Now, let's pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, we give thanks for today's lesson. We know we can trust you always because you are a wonderful and powerful God. Especially in this situation when we feel afraid. Help us, Lord, to trust you more so that we can defeat our fear. Thank you for today. We love you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Trust God and do not be afraid. Wow, what powerful words. So remember, stay vigilant. Wash your hands regularly. Drink plenty of water. Eat a lot of fruit and vegetables. But on top of that, remember what God has said. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 verse 9. So kids, that is your memory verse for today. You can write it down in your book and make sure that you keep the Word of God in your heart. Happy Sunday and see you next week. God bless you all.